What is up, everybody? I'm Star Lord, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a pretty awesome glitch and very awesome thing to do in Pokemon Brick Bronze. I know a lot of people who will uh, want to do the super jump glitch will definitely do the glitch where you can actually start with Eevee as a starter. Yes, Eevee as a starter. Uh, now, by the time you've seen this, you've already probably seen the tutorial for the jump glitch on my channel. Now, if you have or you haven't, go and check out my channel videos and uh, you should just find it on my channel. It's a fairly recent upload. Uh, but as you can see right now, I've actually done the jump glitch and uh, what I haven't done is I have not actually even talked to my parents yet. Uh, as you know, uh, to actually get your starter Pokemon, you need to go and talk to your parents. But as you can see right here, uh, you know, without a Pokemon, I can't go past. But using the jump glitch that's where things change i can literally jump right up here and go around that guy that stops me from like you know going across the bridge it's pretty awesome guys it's, it's actually really really cool as you can see i'm just kind of popping past and i don't have any pokemon on me whatsoever right now i'm on route one without any pokemon now one of the weird things is if i try and go into the grass oh god okay if i try and go into the grass right now it will actually freeze my game completely because i do not have even one pokemon to like help me battle or anything like that it just completely freezes the game uh, so anyway what i'm gonna do is just go right up to here and uh, there's jake he comes running up to me and he's like yo dude something really bad's happened i don't have time to explain and uh, he's actually drawing me back to my parents and uh, what i'm gonna do is speed this part up right now because it takes a long time but uh, as you can see i still haven't even talked to my parents i bet you if I even go back to where they're like normally at, at the cave, I bet they're still there. Uh, but for the purposes of getting on with the video and everything, I'm going to go straight back to Route 1. Uh, so that's the first half of the whole tutorial actually passed through. And if you can't hear like some kind of saw outside, I'm very sorry. It's actually my neighbors. They're working on their house or something like that. I'm not too sure. Ahem. But anyway, so I'm coming back to Route 1. And now because I've already like kind of talked to Jake and done that cutscene, I'm now allowed through here to Mittis Town, I think it is. I'm not too sure where I actually go through. I'm pretty sure it's Mittis Town, though. Um, so anyway, uh, just wait for the, the loady loadies and... Uh, okay, right. <laughs> Things like this take a while. So what I'm going to do is just get unstuck because, like, it's, it's kind of hard to get outside of the buildings uh, with this super jump. Oh my god, look how high I went. Oh my Jesus. Uh, yeah, with this super jump glitch, you can't just pass through doors normally. And as you can see, these builders are still blocking off, like, the whole, like, front entrance and everything like that. But with the super jump glitch, I can just pretty much jump over them. It takes me a second or two. Uh, there you go, that's fine. Okay, and uh, yeah, a game with the bridge, I can just kind of skip past it if I wanted to. Or just kind of jump through. It's okay, whatever. Oh god, no. <laughs> it's so hard to get past these normal areas with this jump glitch. It just kind of puts you back every five seconds. Oh god, no. Right, come on. Oh, Jesus, that person is soaring outside pretty loud. I'm very sorry, guys. Um, okay, so what I need to really be careful of is I don't go in contact with any people who can battle me, like this lady right here. Because if I went and talked to her, she would actually, like, just tell me, yo, listen, I'm going to crash your game, man. Um, okay, so I'm saving my game right now. And um, let's see, we should be fine to go through here. No cutscenes or anything like that. So there you go. Okay. Uh, oh my god. Hello, sir. How do you do? Just falling over, you know. Um, okay, so if I can just get up, I can just come through this door right here. And hopefully I should be able to come out on the other side. I don't know. Okay, no. Um, ugh, it takes so long. Right, let's go back in and out again, and there you go. Okay, there's Troy too. A lot of you guys actually know Troy now because he's like, he finds a lot of glitches. Um, okay, so now we're in Sylvan City, guys, and uh, what we're doing is we need to make our way right the way down here. Um, so what I'm going to do is just save really quick because I don't want to like jump off the side of the map and have to like start all over again and everything. Um, until I get my first Pokemon, you know, it's it's... It's, it's a bit of a difficult situation. I need to be very, very careful. So keep on going like this. Oh my god, that sore outside is so loud. Guys, I am so sorry. And what we want to do is once we're in Sylvan City, we want to go to this house right here. And a lot of you guys may actually remember that at this house, there is a guy who admires Eevees 
quite a lot. Uh, here he says, uh, my wife and I love EVs, they bring me so much joy. And um, yeah, if you don't actually know, if you join the Pokemon Brick Bronze group, you can actually get an EV from this guy. So what I'm going to do really quickly is save my game and I'm going to head over to my groups. As you can see, there's my star squads. There's my games group right there. And then if I click right here, here's the Pokemon Brick Bronze version group. If I click on this, I am actually able to then uh, join onto this little group and get my free Eevee. So uh, there you go, just join the group. Now the bad thing is you actually have to wait to actually get accepted into the group. But uh, luckily enough, I actually talked to Kevin Cat and he helped me out with that straight away. So thank you very much for that, Kevin Cat, if you're watching this. I doubt you are. But here I am back in the game. And uh, as you can see, guys, if I just talk to this guy, he says, As we've gotten older, we've realized that we love uh, Eevee. We want to spread it. So, here, would you like to take on the responsibility of having an Eevee? And the next minute, guys, you get a new Eevee as your starter Pokemon. As you can see right there, I genuinely still don't have a Pokemon kind of tab on my game because I have not yet encountered my starter Pokemon from the Professor. Um, so it's, it's really weird. It's such a crazy glitch, but it is very cool, guys. I mean, I've always wanted to try and find a glitch to kind of bypass all of this, like try and get past all of that without having a starter and everything. And finally, with the jump glitch, I was actually able to do that, so let me just get unstuck really quick, and uh, I can show you guys that there is another awesome glitch alongside this one, and that is basically, you do not have to even beat a gym, you don't even have to beat this gym right here to go through, uh, you know like, see this guy coming up right here, normally you would have to beat the gym and talk to him and then get cut, uh, so that you can actually get past like big trees that you can cut down. But with the Super Jump Glitch, you generally don't have to even do that anymore. That's how crazy it is. Like, I can just basically jump past him. So, let me just try and do it right now. Okay, let's pop by. Come on. It's, it's so difficult, because you can't really control yourself that well with this Jump Glitch. It's so difficult to do. Oh my god, I'm doing backflips. Okay. Um, so, you sh I should jump up sometime soon. Come on. Yep, there you go. Okay, one jump. We got one. No! Oh my god. It's so hard because you can't you can't control. Okay, there you go. Okay, and uh, if I go through here, uh, you guys should know what's through here right now. And this is the first area where you get your running shoes, uh, which is very helpful. So I'm just going to save the game really quickly and go through here. And then... Uh, okay, it's, it's so hard to get through these root extenders. Okay, we should go through it again. Let's see. Okay... Oh my god, it's so difficult guys. I would say this is the most difficult thing about this glitch is having to try and get through the roots uh, Because you know, they are just they glitch you like crazy. Um, okay, hopefully we can do it now. There you go Okay, so we're out of the route right now and if I stop doing backflips, oh my god, don't go through there um, If I stop doing backflips, if I just kind of go this way uh, really quickly, I can, I think if I just go, no, I'm probably gonna have to go down this way to, like, trigger the interaction, there you go, hey, wait up, and then he comes over, you look like you love running, and then he actually gives you a pair of running shoes, just like the normal game, you know, nothing really matters, like, nothing crazy happens in this game if you do this glitch, I mean, as far as I know, I, we're able to get to Frostvale City, uh, we had to battle one or two gyms, but other than that, we were able to kind of soar through it, and if I just come into this little uh, piece of grass right here, you will see that- <laughs> Oh my god, there's Troy. Okay, so if you're wondering what's going on there with Troy, uh, that glitch will actually be- um, There is going to be a guide on that glitch in the next couple of days, guys, so definitely keep a lookout for that. It's re really cool, like, everyone can see him. Who who goes into a battle right now? Everyone who goes into a battle right now can see him. Uh, but anyway, back to uh, a hand, you can actually see that I have an Eevee, and I'm actually battling. Nothing else. It, it genuinely lets me battle in battle with an Eevee. And that's how crazy this glitch is. Like, genuinely, you can just get your Eevee and go. And you don't have to talk to the professor. You don't have to get the golden brick from your parents. You don't have to do anything, guys. You can genuinely just start the game and probably complete the game or get up to, like, wherever the newest update is in the matter of a couple of minutes. I'm telling you right now, guys. It's insane. I will keep on testing this glitch to see what kind of things you can do with it. Um, but as for now, this is probably one of the craziest glitches that you can do with it, uh, personally anyway. And uh, like I said, I will have a guide on that uh, glitch that Troy was actually doing. It's super fun because everybody can actually see him doing that, uh, whoever goes into a battle. So it, it's kind of like a cool way to troll with people, I guess. Um, 
But anyway, guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video very much. I, I'm i going to try and get a lot of videos done in the next couple of weeks. I've had some really tough times in the last couple of days. So I'm not too sure what's going to be happening in my life at the minute. Uh, but I'm going to do my best to stick to YouTube and uh, keep on doing my videos and everything like that. So anyway, guys, um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. Leave a like on the video. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see you.